so in this case again we are having another solid which is known as a support bracket so here actually it is a symmetric solid or a symmetric type uh, question so what do you mean by a symmetric solid so in this case if you take a section along this plane on to the left hand side and on to the right hand side of this solid it is symmetric so on to the left hand side and on to the right hand side of this solid it is symmetric so some details are invisible here when you are observing this uh, pictorially but the same detail is described here also here so this part and this part it is identical so let us think about the various views so here already the front view direction is mentioned here using this arrow heads and in this case what you are planning to do is a front view a top view and a left side view so we shall obtain a left side view so it is a front view top view and left side view so when you are observing from the front which all surfaces will be visible so this surface sorry this surface which is 50 into 9 this is not 6 it is equal to 9 so 50 into 9 it will be visible and this small rectangle so this is having a thickness of 9 mm so this 9 mm rectangle will be visible again this surface so this is 35 so this is 35 this 35 into 70 this rectangle will be visible here we are having another rectangle which is of the same size this also will be 35 into 70 okay so this is 35 into 70 this is a rectangle and in this region also we are having a small surface so this surface also will be visible so we have to calculate the width of this surface we shall do it later the height will be 70 and when you are observing from the top when you are observing from the top you will be able to see this surface this one this is 120 into 9 so this thickness is equal to 9 so this is 120 into 9 it will be visible so this much area this much area will be visible in the top view along with this thin rectangular surface we are having two rectangular surfaces and we are having a small rectangular surface on the base also so the so these three surfaces will be visible so this one these two and this surface which is at the base and again when you are observing it from the left hand side you will be able to see this rectangle this is 70 into 9 and this inclined surface also will be visible this inclined surface also will be visible so after the inclined surface you won't be able to visualize anything so these are the uh, surfaces which we can see in the front view top view and the side view so first we shall draw the front view so here i have drawn the x y line and x1 y1 line so here we will be drawing the front view and here we will be drawing the top view and here we will be drawing the side view i am drawing the side view onto the right hand side because we are having a left side view so you are observing it from here we will be having a plane of projection here and after obtaining the projection here we will be just tilting it onto this side so that is why i have drawn the x1 y1 line to this side and which all surfaces will be visible in the front view these green colored surfaces will be visible in the front view along with this orange colored surface so one two three four and five six six surfaces will be visible in the front view and what is the total outline or what is the shape of the outline of the front view it is in the shape of a rectangle of 120 mm total length and 70 mm total height so first we shall draw this 120 into 70 as a rectangle and here we are having two holes two circular holes on either sides which is having a diameter of 15 mm so first we shall draw 120 into 70 in the front view So after drawing this 120 into 70 rectangle we are having uh, two rectangular surfaces here one to the left hand side and one to the right hand side so it is having a width of 35 so here it is 35 here also this will be 35 because this is a symmetric solid so we shall draw this 35 and 35 on either sides
Now we are having a thickness of 9 mm. So this is 9, it is not 6, this is 9 into 50. So it is between this 35 and the other 35 which is not marked here. So totally 50 into 9 mm we shall do this rectangular face now onto the center. So already this will be 50. We shall take 9 mm. Now we shall draw these two rectangles, small rectangles. This is having a width of 9 mm. So this is 9 mm and this is also a 9 mm. It is up to the height, this height 70 mm. So starting from this step of 9 mm, totally it is up to this 70 mm height with a thickness of 9 mm. We are having two of them in numbers. Now we shall draw these two circular holes. So where is this hole located? It is at a distance of 18 mm from the left and 18 mm from the right also. This 18 mm from the right, it is not mentioned here. But as it is a symmetric solid, this also will be 18 mm. So this is 18 mm, this is 18 mm. And it is at a height of 40 mm above from this base. So 40 mm above here, here also it is 40 mm above, 40 mm above. So let us locate this center points in order to draw the uh, circular hole so it is 18 mm from the left and 18 mm from the right and at a height of 40 mm so we shall locate the center initially So here the diameter of the hole is 15 mm, so radius will be 7.5. We shall take 7.5 in compass and draw two circles. So the front view is completed. Now we shall draw the top view by extending projectors from the front view. In the top view, you can see this 120 mm into 9 mm this thickness along with this 12 mm thickness side it is also visible so this is totally 120 up to this distance this distance is 35 and this distance is 35 then we are having a thickness of 12 mm again we are having a 9 mm thickness then we are having again 12 mm so from here also it is like that 35 this is 12 this is 9 again this is 12 then you have to join these two ends so first we shall draw this yellow colored surface. Now we shall mark this region, this one. So here we are having an inclined surface of 9 into some thickness. So this will be visible in the top view and this yellow colored surface also will be visible in the top view. This hole is invisible in the top view. So first we shall draw this 
orange colored structure and then we shall draw this base so this also we are having in a yellow colored surface here so the total width is 55 mm so the total length up to this edge it is 55 mm so we shall just draw a reference line at a length of 55 mm from this side or from this end so we shall take it from here 55 Now we shall draw do two dash thick lines in order to represent this circle. Here also we have to draw two dash thick lines in order to represent this circle as actually invisible at the top view. So we have to represent the outline of these two circles using dashed thick lines and we have to draw an axis of symmetry also in the top view. Now we shall draw the left side view. So when you are considering the left side view, which all surfaces will be visible? This blue colored surface and this blue colored surface will be visible. Here this surface it is completely invisible. So we shall draw the left side. So what will be the total height of the left side view? Total height will be 70 and total width will be 55. So we shall draw the left side view. So first I shall draw the total width which is 55. Then you are having a height of 70. Here the thickness is 9 mm, so we shall draw it as 9 mm thick. Then we are having a small extension, so this is 12. So when you are observing it from the side, this 12 mm thickness also will be visible. Then we are having a small height here, so this height is 9 mm again. So we shall draw a vertical line of 9 mm. Now from this 9 mm height and from this 12 mm extension, we are having a slanting line here. So we shall do it as an inclined line. And after drawing this surface, this blue colored surface, so this is that blue colored surface. Here we are having an invisible edge. Onto this side also, on the other side of this blue colored surface, we will be having an invisible edge. So we have to represent this invisible edge using dashed thick lines. It is at a height of 9 mm from this base. So we shall represent a dashed thick line at a height of 9 mm. Now in the side view, this hole is invisible. So as this hole is invisible, we shall draw it using dashed thick lines. It is at a height of 40. So this is height 40 and we are having 7.5 and 7.5, two radii. So we have to draw it using dashed thick lines. We have to show the boundaries or the outline of this hole in the side view. Now we shall dimension the solid.
So almost all the dimensions are given in the front view and top view. That is why I am not dimensioning the side view. The dimensioning of the side view it is not that much required. If required, you can mark this as 55 and this height as 70. So that also I shall mark it in this diagram.